Dr. Joel Kim here from sunny San Diego, California. This is a young, healthy, and otherwise active 67-year-old retired construction superintendent from El Cajon. He's got back pain going down the left leg. His back pain scores a 6, left leg pain scores a 9, and his ODI is 62. That tells me that he's got a lot of disability and he's just struggling along. But he just has simple things uh, are difficult for him, like standing and walking. And you can see he's got multi-level degenerative disc disease. That's what we call a kakapupu spine, degenerative scoliosis. At 3-4, there's an asymmetric disc collapse, so it's collapsing to the left side. And then at 4-5, there's an anterior slippage called spondylolisthesis. And if you can look at his imaging studies, he's got terrible degenerative disc disease at 3-4 and 4-5 with left neuroframal stenosis, lateral recess stenosis, and pain. So despite various non-operative treatments, he continues to have pain. We've tried targeted injections at 3, 4, and 4, 5 with good temporary results, so we're confident that that's the pain generator. And because he's not getting better, we've decided to proceed with surgery. We're going to do my, one of my favorite surgeries, the two-level MIST lift at L3, 4, and L4, 5. That is exactly the same operation my mom had a couple of years ago, and she's playing golf like a fiend right now, so we're all hoping for a great result here too. So we're All right, now we're going to put in the pedicle screws. Same thing, I'm going to surf the surface, make sure everything lines up properly. And I'm going to aim it right down the pipe. Look at that. I dare anybody to try to compete with the perfect pedicle screws when I do it this way. I'll take anybody on in Vegas. And look at this entry point, it's down the slope of the superarticular process. That will slide off or slide into the facet joint if you use a jam sheeting needle. But no, with the burr, you can make the perfect entry point. Okay, I've made the hole, the starting point. Now, once I have this perfect starting point, I'm using this gear shift probe. It's a, it's a modified thoracic probe. It's much wider, so we call it the San Diego hole widener. And it'll just find that perfect entry point and I can guide it so that it it is right down the pipe. So if we score the screws based on its position, and give it a 10 out of 10 score, or you can calculate the sexiness of every screw. And I'd like to have a competition with somebody. Woo, can you hold this right here? I'm gonna have to go two-handed, the bone is so good. Look at that gonna just get sucked in. Wow, this is gonna be a good bite. Okay, I've got the perfect surgical corridor and trajectory, the minimal invasive retractor, computer navigation tracking pin, and napalm in the morning. All righty, now I'm gonna put in the sexiest cage alive right here. Sable, 3D printed, hyperlordotic, maximally expansile, but it's smooth on the edges and on the tip. That's the beauty of it. Mallet. And it goes in so smoothly, I can't even stand it. This is the most, one of the most dangerous parts of putting in the spacer because you have to go right by the nerve. But for some reason, this implant just, it's sneaky. It just sneaks by. It's like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Just, just need to get to the front of the stage. Oh yes, I've got the cage in perfectly. Now I'm gonna expand it. And you'll see why this is the sexiest cage alive because it gets huge. Look at how beautiful that implant is. It is just so perfectly shaped. That's the key, I think. It's, it's lordotic and it hugs the end plate like crazy. This level is very, very tight. So I want to release it more. By fenestrating the ALL and the anterior annulus without fenestrating that little blood vessel right in front of me. Because that would be kind of embarrassing. Woo! Do not try this at home. That's all I got to say. Look at that. Phew! 
Spine surgery would be so much easier without blood vessels and nerves. That's all I got to say. Okay, now the second level, that went perfectly too. Other sexiest cage alive. I've already put in the most expensive bone graft you can get. And yes, it's also the best, but that's just my opinion. And oh, that goes in so smoothly, especially since how tight this was. Woo! Nerves are so working. Surgery's all done. We did it through those two little incisions, and I can't wait for you to see the before and after x-rays because you're going to feel a lot taller. So we're all wishing you a speedy recovery. Right, guys? Yeah! yeah.